What's good everyone, this is Doug from Asmodis. I'm here to show you how to correctly build and wick the Triad Genesis tank. Uh, we've been getting questions on uh, how to build the Triad Genesis tank. Uh, they're getting like dry hits and everything. Um, most of the, thi the, the thing that people get, uh, get wrong is the wicking part. So first you need to build your coils. Today I'll be using a 24 gauge 9 wrap on the Triad Genesis. I'm gonna be using all three coils. And then first you're gonna insert your coils like like this or like this, doesn't matter. All right, so once you get your coils installed, just need to get the coils glowing from the inside out. Just like that. Then you just pick your favorite choice of cotton. Just wick it through. Kevin. 
Okay. You just want to give it a haircut on top. You won't, you only want a little bit to be sticking out. You don't want this whole thing, whole con, to be on here. And then for this part, the trick for the bottom piece of the con, you don't want the whole cotton to touch the bottom, the base of the, the tank. You want the cotton to be basically uh, barely insert, barely inserted into the hole. So you want the cotton to be basically inside this deep. Get a thin object, stuff it in. Just like that. Now you just get some juice and lather it up. Twist this part out, unscrew it, and fill up the tank like so. Now the reason why you don't want the con to touch the base of the tank is because if the con touches the base of the tank, gravity is just too it works too well that the juice gets stuck on the con if it lays down there. So if you have it on the top, when you naturally vape, when you vape, it naturally goes like this. So the the juice will go in the con anyways. If you run into any dry hits what you would normally what you would do is if you take a thin object put it into the the con injection and just pull it back and you want like a little little breathing hole for it for the con basically if you get any dry hits and your tank is full she's done All right, let's see how she vapes. This is 0.3 ohms at 69 watts. Mm. The flavor's there, cloud production's there. Definitely cloudy. Uh, flavor is really good, but it, it's a really it's a good cloud chaser tank if you like clouds. And that's how you. 
correctly build and wick the triad, Genesis tank. This is Doug from Asmodis, vape on, stay cloudy.